makes you lonely, but I don't think that's true. Being surrounded by the wrong people is the loneliest thing in the world. Maybe I was not surrounded by the wrong people, but simply by many people who did not understand me, or I did not understand them. It was a foreign feeling. Hi, my name is Linderen Damase. I was alone and I loved it. And this is my story. I hope you will understand. I liked being alone when I was young. I felt in control of myself. In order to win me over meant your presence had to feel better than my solitude. You weren't competing with any other person. You were competing with my comfort. Coming from a big family and being the youngest was hard because everyone tried to influence you which became very hard to understand at that tender age. Being alone while well, with my teddy bear, Mr. Snuffles, meant I could do what made me happy. It gave me a chance to explore my own fantasy of how I perceived the world. I could talk to someone who listened and understood. My mom says she gave me Mr. Snuffles after I was born. Not that I remember much when I was born. What is it with you and this teddy bear, men would ask, especially my older family members. Why are you always alone with this teddy bear that can't even talk? Why don't you go and play with other children like normal kids your age do? Well, I'm not normal mommy and daddy. You see, this is exactly what I mean. You do not understand me. Let me help you understand what is happening in my head. Mr. Snuffles was my brother. My sister I never had when I needed one. I did not speak much, but when I did, Mr. Snuffles listened to me and never questioned me. I always know he's listening because I always felt better when I told him a secret. You see, at this age, my confidence was silent and my insecurities were loud. I was not cool like the other kids. I couldn't run as fast as the other kids or make friends like other kids. Yes, I was an introvert. Being alone with Mr. Snuffles always felt like an actual place to be, as if I weren't... I was born with asthma. You see, with asthma, with along many other symptoms, like constantly struggling to breathe, you probably didn't know that you constantly have feelings of anxiety and panic around people. You have a difficulty talking. You are crucified with fear, frustration, and desperation. The craziest thing of it all was that Mr. Snuffles always reminded me to be calm. Mr. Snuffles always assured me it's going to be fine. Remind me to stay calm when I was having an asthma attack. <laughs>